RealAgriculture.com is proud to present coverage of the 20th anniversary of Canada's Outdoor Farm Show in Woodstock, Ontario. It's time for another edition of Thumbs Up, Thumbs Down on RealAgriculture.com. I'm Sean Haney. I'm Lindsay Smith. And we are at Canada's Outdoor Farm Show in Woodstock, Ontario. And we have, uh, we've had a really good time. Yeah, we have. We have survived uh, a tornado watch. No, warning. Two. Two watches. Two actually. of them. Two of yeah, them. and one warning that we had to evacuate for. So we were fun. in the Pride Seeds Pavilion where we've kind of mm -hmm. been hanging out all week. And people have been signed yeah. up for the corn school and soybean school. And uh, yes, yeah, some really bad weather. It was yep. uh, hail. Hard rains, mm -hmm. got sunny all of a sudden. And I remember what Tornado Greg told us mm -hmm. at Farm Progress Show. Ah! <laughs> when you need to be concerned about a tornado is actually when it gets nice out again. Yeah, and that's exactly what happened. And then we got evacuated. More, so, total more, yeah. kicked out the door. Uh, so a little bit of a thumbs down uh, to the weather. Well, Tuesday but, was ridiculous. Oh well, you were here, I was not. It was. You wouldn't have made it through Tuesday. No, I would have melted. You would have not made so it. I'm good. serious. Yeah. It was horrific. Yes. It was like 42 degrees with the Humidex, mm -hmm. which it, with the humidity, like for, for our Western viewers, don't understand what humidity yeah. is, what we went yeah. through on Tuesday. So it was, well, it was pretty good. I think my hair is an indication of the humidity. <laughs> Your hair is um, okay. So uh, lots of discussions, especially if you follow Mr. Kankara on Facebook about the outhouses. About the there, there has thumbs been some up, discussion down. about the outhouses. Yes. About the outhouses. Uh, well, let, let's, <laughs> Ken burnt his bum. <laughs> he, he did. He, he uh, really did. Those he, it, yeah. when it's forty degrees yep. out and it, it's there, not in the there shade. There needs to be a sign. Yeah. You may caution. burn your bum. Yeah, yeah. So a little suggestion, maybe. To all use the following along at home, um, but maybe we need some like real bathrooms here. The that, site's that's around been, all year. Yes, that's been it's a beautiful site. Maybe we should do that. So what I don't like about yeah. the outhouses is that they actually, when you walk in, as you close the door, you realize they are actually tilted towards mm. the door, which is a little mm -hmm. uncomfortable. <laughs> a little you really offended. don't realize what you're locking yourself <laughs> into. Like, what am I committing to here? Is it okay if I turn around? Is it okay if I move yeah. a little bit? Yeah, it's a little frightening. So, yeah, so you know, we, I think we do need some permanent permanent. Yeah bathrooms yeah. on this site. No, I'd say that. So now, also, okay, we're sitting here, beautiful little spot uh, at Pride Seeds. the Pride Seeds corn. Yeah, no, yeah, in it's beautiful yeah. in front of. Uh, some really neat features of this show that I love and, and that you've mentioned as well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, I, I really love, because it's here year round and we've got all the corn and we've got all the soybeans, we've got all these great varieties, some really neat stuff, uh, the root zone. Uh, where they're uh, actually dug Micogen down, has yeah, has there. has dug down, and actually you can see, uh, you can walk right in there, which is where you were going to take cover. Should we actually get? If a there tornado? was a tornado, I was diving yeah, into that's the roof. That's what Sean was going to do. Along with probably the other four hundred people. Yeah, and and what I think this show does that uh, certainly not a lot of other shows do. I mean, each each uh, company sort of has a draw to their booth. Uh, the pie is always a very uh, very good one. Pie. Lots yep. of pie at the Pioneer booth, um, and we had a live band. The, Huge the, thumbs up to the live band. At yesterday. the Pride Seeds booth, yeah. the Celtic band was a real hit. So all yep. afternoon yep. on the Wednesday, yesterday, yep. uh, Pride's they had a, a Celtic band. It was Johnny and the Shenanigans. Mm, which and is if you get the a, best name ever. If you get a chance to see Johnny and the Shenanigans, they're yep. fairly good. Yep. And mm -hmm. as our friend Dan from Pride has told us, mm -hmm. they get better the more they drink. Oh, so and they had a few all. they had a few wobbly yeah. But they was good. They were very, yep. very good. It was actually a good spirit with all the rain going mm -hmm. on. Celtic band, beer, yeah, lots of good. fun. It was lots of fun. So yeah, thumbs up to that. Uh, a bit of a thumbs down though to the grain markets. Ooh. We've been getting we've been getting daily updates, some daily discussion. Kind of giant scary bears out there. Yeah, Mo Agostino from Farms Risk Management. He did a twice a day did a market report, and I was actually hoping that it would sort of start with the bad and it would get better as the yeah, days went on. Yeah, it didn't get better. It didn't get better. No, no. it was actually getting worse. And yeah. Mo is a very He's a very big bear with big claws. Been saying sell, sell, sell for a while. Mm -hmm. He is uh, for the Ontario viewers. He's you know he's even talking about maybe like a year from now two dollar cash corn. No. Yeah, that's that's really. Yeah, oh. there was a few people that actually it was funny. It's well, not funny. Worse. Like, that's not, worse than I actually not thought. Not funny, haha. -ha. No. Was uh, there was a few growers that said, you know, what do you suggest I do if I've sold none? Mm, and there were some that actually put crop. up their hand and said they hadn't Quite sold any. Quite sad. Like, and, what do I do? Yeah, and actually one of the points he made, because, you know, he asked when he does his presentation, he asks, you know, who's 50% sold, who's 100% sold, who's none. And quite a bit of the crowd was at least 50 to, let's say, 75, yeah. which is, you know, good. 
And then there were quite a few who said zero. And he said, you know, really, the last two years, those people, that was we're a good decision. Ones. That we're was a good ones. decision, right? This year, not so much. And so it might hurt a little bit. Well, he, you know, he, he was quite up front. He says, you know, you're going to, all the money you made the last three years, you're potentially going to give it back the next two. So. Yeah. So that's a bit of a he was kind of. I feel like we were, we have a much happier message than Mo. <laughs> He, he really... We, in general? Yeah, we, yeah he brought general. the group down. <laughs> where we were just happy well, internet but media okay. people. Yeah, <laughs> yes. At the same time, we need a bit of kick in the pants reality. Because if you're if you're a little worried that the market's going somewhere, then you make some decisions, right? Right. So you hope that it'll be good. Here we are, back to the heat. Holy doodle. Okay, you have something on this list about Detroit fans. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm so tired of the Tiger Okay, fans. but I'm going to state for the record, I don't know what he's talking about. So Ken Kira and I, so yes. Ken Kira works at Pride. Yep. We are we are Blue Jay fans, right? Oh. Yeah, yes. I've heard that. Yeah. Our cameraman is <laughs> now part Ken's not happy. of those up those. So and, yeah. and Ken's a fan of the, the Leafs and I'm a fan of oh. the uh, Flames, yeah, boo. And Go uh, Jets! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and I'll tell you what. We, Ken and I have had a pride swallowing siege here this week uh. because there's a lot of the boys from Chatham mm. have been really, really giving it to us and it's well deserved. Mm. But okay. I'll tell you what, they're You're oh, a little man. sick of it. I don't I don't a think I'm, I'm not cheering for the Tigers during the playoffs, I'm telling you. <laughs> the Tigers, I'm not sure. It's that if is I have to listen to Doug Alderman show. one more second talk about how good the Tigers are and how oh. he told me so. Yes. It's it's getting old. Alright. But what else have we done on the list? Are we done? And on that bombshell. Sheep. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, we oh, we can talk about sheep. No, I don't want to talk about sheep. I want to talk about, uh, this is actually something I've noticed. This is my third sh show in a row, which here, I know here. here. Yeah. I know this is the 20th anniversary, so I'm late to the party. But I definitely noticed this year, huge thumbs up, a way bigger variety of big, shiny, cool equipment, lots of really neat stuff. Really got a really good sense that there's some kind of, like, this show is they're bringing some neat stuff here and so it's not just bigger the demos have been awesome uh, Tom Wolf put on a spare demo we've got some video of that um, but even just in general the the equipment that's been out and some really cool stuff yeah, after the inter, after the inter rain we got last night, yeah. the tillage demo was canceled today. Yeah, I was weird. very surprised, yeah. disappointed. <laughs> little, but the demos are, and this is the lovely thing about an outdoor farm show, is you can get out there, you can get in the field, you can move some dirt around, and uh, but just in general, just really, really big, lots of shiny new stuff. Demos were awesome, so a huge thumbs up. I've enjoyed myself immensely. Well, and really, the, the entertainment doesn't stop because uh, we are about two hours from takedown time. Yep. And it could rain another, you know, we could get about a quarter inch and that will add full entertainment yes. to take down and trying to watch people get out of the parking lot. Yeah, I think the parking lot is going to be the, the most booths. exciting part. So it's going to be yeah, really interesting. Yeah. So. Okay, so. Okay, that's a wrap.